Hello everyone, I'm Sadeq and this is GameMake Archive. This will be the last part of our tutorial for Venom Effect and we are going to add details to the project. Let's start by creating a nice material for our objects. First I want the dark color, maybe a dark red or a dark blue. Then we set the metallic, specular and roughness parameters to get a nice shiny slimy look. And to give it more details, let's add a normal map, even a simple water normal texture will do. You can get the one I used from the link below. Now let's return to the line caster class. Another thing we can do is to add a small angular impulse to our object to make it spin. And after the part that we cast the lines, let's change the material to the one we created earlier. We want the same material for the line mesh too, in addition to the custom model I created for the lines. Also remember to adjust the values to match the new mesh. You need to set the divide value to 49. And now let's see how it goes. Oh, totally not what we wanted. I think it needs lower numbers for the impulses. Yes, that's better. There are many changes that you can add to your project to make it look cooler. For example, I added a sphere and the material to the end point of the lines and also increased the number of the lines by adding more arrows. Ok everyone, I hope you enjoyed making this project and try to use it in your own games. Please share your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date for my next videos. I'll be back with more projects in a few days.